Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So thank you so much for joining me today. Today I have for you a shopping haul. I've been to both Aldi and Tesco because there's always a few little bits that I need to get and Tesco is just literally across the road from where I go at Aldi. So super convenient and easy, so that's where I've just gone. If you are new here, my name's Andrea. I'm a mum of four, I have two boys, two girls and obviously my husband Kev. We live up in Lancashire. I'm doing a weight loss plan and following Slimming World. The rest of the family isn't. So the food that you will see will be both healthy and quite calorific because like I say, I'm the one that's doing the diet and they're not. Where I can, I've included sin values where it's applicable. I do, I have gone back to group. So I have access to the app again. So the sins that I have told you are correct, but that's just of today, which is the 18th of October. So if you are here for weight loss, for um, sin values, etc., that side of stuff, then do just double check if you're watching it after the 18th because, you know, Slimming World, they change the mind, don't they, all the time and ingredients change, so sin values change. So just make sure I would hate to be responsible for you're putting on weight because I've told you something that is now wrong. I hope that makes sense. And that was a very long way of explaining it. But yeah, I'm sharing my food haul. I will give you the prices. I will also share with my menu plan for the whole week. And it's going to feed all six of us as well. And I'm also going to do, like I did the last shopping haul, the price comparison as well for if if you've been here a while, you'll know that normally I'm a regular at Asda and I've always loved it, never been disappointed, always thought it was a fair price, but my eyes have been opened with me having to, you know, tighten my belt, shall we say. So I've started shopping elsewhere and comparing the prices because I've still got my Asda app and it has definitely opened my eyes and the end of this one will open yours as well for sure because just couldn't believe the comparison but anyway that's at the very back so make sure that you catch that bit as well so yeah i hope you enjoy it and without further ado i'm gonna crack on and show you what i've got this is everything i've spread across this side of the kitchen so i'm all up and down here on the work surface and then if i spin you around i've also come over here by the sink as well and then I'm just all over here as well. And then this little bit here is those Tesco bits. So I'll start the other side again. And then I'll crack on in this corner. So here we have some of these lentil chips. The three and a half sins a bag. We've got a pack of the sea salt six pack. And then we've also got some of the barbecue ones. Same amount of sins. 71 calories per serving. Which is a bag each or 72. Um, just for the kids for the pack ups. But obviously, being Slimming World friendly, I can have them myself as well. Got two big bags of baking potatoes. Just so much easier when it comes to peeling them to make mash or chips or anything like that. Um, these are free on Slimming World. And like I said, I've got two of them. I've also got a whole meal, Just Essentials loaf. This is a healthy extra beef for two slices, or I think you can sin it for seven sins for two, but just double check. But it is two for a healthy extra beef, I know that. Then I've got some of these mega puffs for Kobe and Alana, they absolutely love them. Um, not sure on the sin values because I don't plan on eating them. Some barbecue sauce, as you can see here, 19 calories per tablespoon, so that's one sin per tablespoon. Some dark soy sauce, which is free. I've also got some garlic granules which are free. I throw these into like pretty much everything. So you'll always see them every week on the menu. And then I've got some pan chocolates for the kids. Fantastic for snacks and also for a quick breakfast in the morning. Two packs of easy cook long, long grain white rice. Need to put my teeth in after saying that. This is free. So I've got two of those because I've got rice quite a bit on the menu this week and I just I could eat rice all day long anyway. So two packs of those which are free. Some wonky mixed peppers looking really good. Don't mind green peppers at all. I know some people don't like them, but I absolutely love them. So I bought these, these are speed, some meadow flour, um, butter spread, 59 calories per serving which is just 10 grams so I think that's around about a teaspoon so you're looking at like three sins for that but again I won't be eating it so it doesn't matter to me at all some 
Organic Mammy are just banana, little banana pouches for Kobe. He absolutely loves them. No idea, obviously, on the sin value because, again, not eating those. Two packs of carrots. Oh, one upside down and one normal. These are speed. And again, if you've been following me for a while, you'll know that I throw carrots into absolutely everything. To try and disguise them from my son and hubby, I just grate them down and they disintegrate into stuff, but they bulk it out beautifully. Otherwise, we have them nice and chopped up for me and Alyssa and Alana because we absolutely love carrots. I've also picked up some of these protein pots, four of the salted caramel flavour. They finally had them in. They've not had them in or someone keeps getting there before me <laughs> and taking them all. But they've got them in this time, so I've picked up four of them. I love the vanilla. I love the strawberry and the raspberry. So I'm really hoping I like these as well we're picking up four. But I'll keep you posted. These are two sins each and they are a substantial pot. I know you can have Muller Lights for half a sin, but I'd rather spend the sins on something nicer. Muller Lights just taste really artificial to me and I don't know why it don't matter what flavor you get they all taste the same to me they all have that very same synthetic taste but that's just my taste buds so again I'd rather spend the sins on something really thick and these are deliciously thick and really really thick filling as well so they're fantastic I'm just hoping I do like the salted caramel because I've committed there with four of them aren't I but I love salted caramel normally, so hopefully I do. So yeah, two sins each for those. Some Pink Kid, Pink Lady apples. These are just like the miniature version you can see there. They're speed. I've got a bag of red onions, which is speed. I've got a cabbage, which is speed. It's not bruised. It's been next to one of the purple cabbages, so it's rubbed off. Two packs of tender stem bro broccoli. These are speed as well. I've got some little delights for Kobe and Alana. Um, we've got the strawberry, apricot and raspberry flavour. And then here, strawberry, peach and banana. They absolutely love them. They like them better than the Just Essentials range of Aldi's um, Everyday Essentials. I'm thinking of Asda now, aren't I? <laughs> I'm, I'm being a traitor, thinking of Asda. But yeah, they prefer them to the other ones. So I have spent a little bit extra and got them these ones instead because they eat them better. Um, two packs of chicken tikka breast slices. For the whole pack, it's just two sins, so not bad at all. I throw this into wraps for the kids for their lunches. They absolutely love it. So I've got two of those and it'll see them through the week. I've also got a little bit of ham left as well in the fridge. So if I run out of this, then I can always do that. But that should do the week for them. And then I've also got some cheese slices. Three of these are your healthy extra area. You can send them at two sins each. I've got some wonky red grapes, which are free. Two packs of cherry tomatoes, which are speed. I've got a big chunk. It's, um, where is it? Oh, there it is. So, yeah, upside down, but 900 grams. So, it's a huge slab of cheddar. And 30 grams of this is your healthy extra A. You can get lower fat versions, but rather than me buying two different sets of cheese, I'll just have a little bit less and then everybody can have the same kind of cheese. But, yeah, 30 grams of that. Some blueberries. These are your healthy extra. No, they're not. <laughs> These are a speed food. They're not healthy extra. Honestly, I don't know what planet I'm on. But look at the size of those blueberries. They're absolutely massive. I don't even think the camera does them justice, but they are they are huge blueberries. So I picked up a pack of those, and like I say, they're speed. Something that's non-edible, some food and freezer bags. Two cucumbers, which are speed. Some mint sauce, Bramwell's. You can see there that it's 12 calories per tablespoon. So that's round about half a sin. Maybe a sin and a half. Uh, no, not a sin and a half. Maybe a sin in total. Um, but yeah, half a sin per tablespoon for some mint sauce. Some light mayonnaise. Again, 40 calories per tablespoon. So that's two sins for a tablespoon of that. Cannot get lighter than light for love no money still. And I ransacked the shelves. Looked in Tesco. Just can't get it. I don't know why, what's going on. Let me know in the comments if anyone else can find it or can't find it if you're having the same issues as me. So yeah, still sticking with a light mayo for a higher sim value. And I picked up a jar of pickled gherkins, which are speed. And then over here, 
I've got four cartons of passata, which is speed, because these are the main ingredient to a lot of my sauces that I do. And you know, if you've been following me for a while, I do cook a lot of stuff from scratch, so I do end up going through a lot of it. I've also got eight tins of baked beans, because again, I bulk everything out with baked beans. We're a family of six, so I need to have hints and tricks of bulking everything out to be more gentle on that shopping balance. So that's one of the things that I do as well. Apologies for Corby in background, he's trying to break into the kitchen, but the door's shut, so he can't. Um, so yeah, um, eight tins of baked beans that you can see just down there. They're free, they're not protein anymore. I've also got six tins of chopped tomatoes, because again, an essential in using for my sauces. I'm also going to make some Slimming World um, tomato soup, so that's going to be a few cans in that as well, which will see me for a few days. And then I've also got an array of different beans as well. So the chopped tomatoes are speed, all these different beans. So butter beans, black eyed beans, chickpeas, black beans, red kidney beans. And that's it for the beans. Um, these are all free and protein. And I'm going to be making um, like a five bean chili. Although one, two, three, four. Yeah, diff five different beans. Um, a five bean chili. And I'm also going to be making a sausage and bean bake as well. So that'll be going in there. And then here, oh, sorry, just readjust the camera. I've got some mushy peas, which are free. I've also got a four pack of tuna chunks in brine. As long as it's in brine or spring water, it's free in protein. If it's in any kind of oil or mayonnaise, then you've got to sin it. So this is free in protein. I've already mentioned the gherkins. I've got a big bag of fusilli pasta, which is free. And then I've also got some lasagna sheets, which are free as well. Now, with these lasagna sheets, on the menu this week, which I know you'll see at the very end, but sneak peek, we're having um, Pepsi Max chicken, which is going to be our uh, Chinese takeaway. So with that, I'm going to make some spring rolls. And I'm going to use the lasagna sheets as the base, well, as the outer filling for my spring rolls so some people do class it as a tweak you probably should class it as a tweak however when I do have it I'm not going to class it as a tweak myself because I'm going to be eating it as part of a main meal it's not something that I'm going to be snacking on so it is going to be counted as part of my main meal if you're snacking on it then definitely yeah you should sin it accordingly as a tweak but I'm having it as a main meal so I will show you how I make that as and when I come round to having the Pepsi Max chicken. So yeah, stay tuned for that. So these are going to be turned into spring rolls. I've done it before in the past and it works really, really well. And they're really yummy. They just are a bit time consuming to make. So that's why I don't do them all the time. I normally wimp out, buy the kids some frozen versions and I just do without. But this time I'm going to make some. What the hell? I've got some Magnum washing up liquid. I've also gone for some of these Aldi's own sanitary towels. So obviously there's me and Alyssa. Alana is a million years from um, starting a period. So we don't need to worry about that side of things. But with me and Alyssa, we do obviously go through quite a few every single month. So with normally I get always... Is it always that I normally get or body form? No, it's always. Normally I always get always and they're £3.50 a pack. Whereas these in Aldi are 49p a pack. So I thought, I've read them, I've looked at them. Sanitary towels are sanitary towels, aren't they, at the end of the day? So I thought, Do you know what? For that price, I'm going to give them a try. So we've got this one, ultra towels, and then we've got the nighttime ones as well. So literally, these three packs here cost me £1.50, which I still wouldn't have been able to get just a normal pack for that price. So I'm going to give them a whirl, and if they're good, they're going to stay on the... I nearly said menu then, but they're going to stay on the shopping list. And if they're rubbish, then obviously I know that I can go back to the ones that we know are tried and tested and work well. So moving on, I've got some dishwasher tablets down there. I've just gone for the bog standard. See how we get on with them because there is, again, another massive price difference. And if they work, happy days. I've saved some cash. If they don't, I know I can go back to some that I do know that works. Two packs of baby wipes. I've got a full thing of coffee as well because I literally run on coffee. Um, here, I've got two of these spaghetti bolognese for Kobe. 
two of these chicken casserole with rice for Corby and then two of the beef, ca beef casserole with vegetables. Again, we do a combination of um, baby led weaning plus pouches, jars, because sometimes it's just easier to whip one of them out, especially if we're out and about, than to figure out what's on the menu and what Corby can have. Or sometimes he's just a fussy little bugger and he wants something that he doesn't have to work hard at from eating because he's a typical bloke. So yeah, I've got those as well. I've also got him some of these little fruit pots, which are apple, apricot and strawberry. He loves having one of these along with his breakfast and some toast. So he's got those. And then I've got some whole grain mustard. As you can see here, 18 calories per tablespoon. So that's one sin for a tablespoon. I love throwing it in tuna mayo. It's fantastic. If I make any kind of cheese sauce, throw it in. It just boosts the flavour so much more. So I've bought some of that. And again, I don't mind spending the sins on stuff like this to make things taste better. And at one sin, sorry, yeah, one sin per tablespoon. I think it's well worth it. Mention those. Now we're on to the pears. These are speed. I've just got a bag of conference pears. These were on the super savers. I've also got a bag of bananas. These are free because everybody loves a banana in this family. But we are the family that likes them when they're quite ripe. We don't like them when they're all um, green and waxy. Not our cup of tea. Um, I've picked up some of this specially selected really nutty muesli. 40 grams is your healthy extra B or you can sin it for 7 sins per 40 grams. I'm going to be having some of this with some of that and some of these. So yeah, I'm going to be having like a granola -y type muesli yogurt -y thing with fruit on top as some of my breakfast this week because I'm determined to eat more on a morning and see if that helps with the tiredness and stuff like that. But then again, it's babies, that's what's doing it with the tiredness. And then last but not least here, again, can't eat it, four disposable razors, just Aldi's own. So I think that is everything on this side. I'm just having a quick scan. Yep, that's everything on this side. So I will spin you around and show you what is on the other side. And here we go. So I'll start over here with the frozen stuff. So I've got some, because obviously this is going to need putting away soon before it defrosts. I've just got it, if, again, if you're regular, you probably have figured out the layout of my kitchen. So I've moved it around a little bit and this lot's all on the draining board. So garden peas, which are free. I've got some onion and rosemary sausages, just Aldi's plant menu. These are for me. I don't eat red meat, but... Um, me and Alyssa don't eat red meat, should I say, but my hubby and my son and the other kids do. So these are for us and these are free. For the rest of the family, Irish pork sausages. Um, not sure on the sin value because, again, I'm not going to be eating them. So that's for them. I've got some mixed vegetables and it's a combination of free. So the sweet corn and the peas are free. The green beans and the carrots are speed. I've got a bag of whole green beans, which is speed. I've got a bag of Yorkshire puddings. I won't be eating them, but let's have a quick gander. Can we work it out? So per Yorkshire pudding, it's saying 41 calories. So you're looking at two sins per Yorkshire pudding. They are quite small. So personally, I would say not worth it, but each to their own. I've got some cut sliced chicken. Now, yep, I could have probably bought the bigger version bags, but I did um, compare it against the big bag the big kilo bag of frozen chicken breasts and it was literally a pound difference between four packs of these versus a kilo of that and it was a pound's difference for the same weight for weight so for a kilo and a kilo for the for the pound i was happy to pay for the fact that it's already cooked the other stuff wasn't and it's already sliced up the other stuff wasn't so again mum of four busy 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 to save me a little bit of time i just bought the lazy version basically for a pound extra that's it so i'm happy with that so i've got four bags of those they'll go in the freezer and it also means that i don't have to cook it all at once i can cook it as and when i'm using it and i'm using chicken in a couple of meals this week so it works out better as well for me 
and then carrying on we've got some onion rings we've got some corn which is free and protein and we've got some super sweet sweet corn and according to the app again if you've watched me before you'll know that i've mentioned this in the past for some random reason it's saying that it's half a sin per 100 grams it's literally just sweet corn so no idea where that has come from i think it's an error with the app um, more than anything i do keep meaning to mention it to my consultant but i always forget and she's on a honeymoon this week so i can't so i'll try and mention it next time and see if we can get to the bottom of what's going on with that so i'll keep you posted the next time i do remember i've got some chicken steaks in batter for the boys i've got some chicken steaks in breadcrumbs southern fried flavor for the boys and then these are for my husband two chicken bakes he absolutely loves pies and pasties these ones are for me um no no chicken burgers two spicy ones i like chicken but i just wanted to give these a try five and a half sins each i'd only have one so i'm happy to spend the sins on that i've got some snack noodles not sure on the sins these are just for the kids to again snack on after school when they come back absolutely ravenous here I've got two bottles of the ZX Cola cherry flavour and then just the bog standard. It's a rip-off version of um, Pepsi Max and it tastes absolutely fine. It's really, really nice and at 49p a bottle, I'm happy to buy it. Two bags of um, crispy leaf salad. This is Speed. And then I've also got a bag of Rocket and Baby Leaf salad with 30% off. I'm planning on eating that today, so that's absolutely fine. That's also Speed. Some coriander to go in my curry this week. That's Speed. Some spray light, which is free as long as you don't drink the whole bottle. And some mild curry powder, which is free as well. Two packs of back bacon smoked this is for my husband i think it's free if you take all the fat off it you'll just have to double check check and make sure there's no um added sugar to it because some um smoked bacon does so it can carry a sim value so just double check some reduced fat soft cheese this is to go into a recipe two sins per 25 grams some cheese triangles four sin oh no 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 start again you can have four for your healthy extra air or you can sin them at one and a half sins each some groovy biscuits, six sins each, love a groovy biscuit. Some fig rolls, again, not sure on the sim values. Let's have a look. Yeah, no idea. I'm not working that out. Fig rolls, <laughs> some seal bars, some titan bars, two chicken tikka slices. When my hubby has them, my son will have these and he loves chicken tikka so they're perfect for him and yes he will eat them both he's a very big strapping young lad who is now playing rugby as well as football so he definitely needs his energy um two garlic baguettes to go with a recipe again i won't be eating that got some milk got semi skimmed 250 mils for your healthy extra a some whole 200 mils for your healthy extra a or you can sin it accordingly eight tortilla wraps these are for the kids pack ups some free range eggs just mixed um i think it's mixed weight yep mixed sizes there you go um free range free and protein on slimming world some sandwich thins these are for the boys not sure on the sins these ones are for me and Alyssa or Alyssa can have these as well it's up to her um one of these is your healthy extra b or you can send them at sin six sins each I've got some of these, again, the light pepper armies, um, original meatster sticks, not sure in the sins, but they're for the pack ups. And then I've got some chicken stock cubes. So that's everything that I've got from Aldi. And then I did need to go into Tesco just to grab a couple of bits that they didn't have in Aldi. Um, which is my husband's Pepsi. He's not a massive fan of Coke, so I always have to get him Pepsi. And while I was there, this was on the club card. Two bottles of Pepsi Max Cherry for £3. So I got those for me as a nice treat, even though I'm more than happy with the Aldi stuff. And then two bottles for my husband. His is ridiculously sinned and mine is sin-free because it's sugar-free. I've got a lettuce because I don't know why, but I completely forgot to pick up one of these for the kids pack up because they have that with the chicken and they have some of this all in a wrap with some cucumber as well. Um, so that is speed. I've got four of these appetizers. So they're the six pack and they're the larger cans. 
and the reason why again i'm not going to be drinking them because i think they will be quite high in sins they're saying 118 calories if you can see there so you're looking at around about six sins per can assuming that's definitely what it is because it's 100 percent juice so i'd have to check it on the app but i've bought them mainly for my son and daughter because they buy them at school the one pound 20 per can and obviously there's six in here in Tesco today, they were £4.10 for the pack of six, but on the club card, they were £2.50. So again, it's a no-brainer for two of the ones that they buy. So one each that they buy at school is the same price almost as a full pack of these. So that's why. So I did buy four of them because they're going to go in the cupboard and then they can take a couple um, to school with them a day. So that's for them. I've got some Cowangate follow-on milk for Kobe. It's literally his last month. It might be his last tub of formula. I'm not sure yet how long it'll last um, before it can go on to whole cow's milk. And I am not prepared for it at all because it's one next month and I've not dealt with those emotions yet. So I need to pull my finger out and crack on before I ever melt down because <laughs> I'm not ready for my baby to grow up. But yeah, this is his follow-on milk. Like I say, probably the last tub I've bought before he goes on to whole milk. Um, and then moving on, he's got some... These were on offer in Tesco. Um, I didn't get the Mamiya milk just because this one, he does seem to prefer it better and it dissolves better. He doesn't like a warm bottle of milk. He likes it nice and cold. So we have to cool his um, water right down. We add the powder um, and when you shake it up, when you've added the powder, whether the water's hot or cold, the mammy milk doesn't dissolve as quick or as easily, whereas this just dissolves instantly. So that's why we've gone back to it. And for a £1.50 difference, I'm happy to pay it. And it's not going to be for long anyway now anyway. So yeah, Corby's milk. And then back to these. So these were on offer, seven for five pound. And again, they just get thrown in the cupboard as and when he needs them. So pasta baked with tuna, two of them. He's got two of the Sunday chicken dinners and then he's got three of the cottage pie because he does love the cottage pies. And then this is his all time absolutely favorite. He would inhale this 24 seven if he could. Cheesy pasta with butternut squash, he loves it. So I bought him a couple of those. And for Kieran and Alyssa for the wraps for the pack ups at school, I've got them some Nando's Perinés, mild. And then Aldi didn't have any leaks whatsoever, and I need them for a recipe this week. So I've picked up some of them from Tesco, and they were Aldi price matched as well. And they're speed. So that is it. That is absolutely everything. So, like I've said before, I'll go through. The um, totals for each for Aldi and for Tesco. I'll do the price comparisons like I have done in the past before and show you um, the value for money versus other stores um, versus Asda because I have that app still. And then I will share my menu plan with you as well. So I'll catch you in a second. So everything that you've seen that I've bought is going to go and make every single one of these different meals for breakfasts, lunch, dinners, and then I've also got snacks as well, but I've obviously not put them on this list because I ran out of room. <laughs> um, but it's just the, you know, it's generic snacks, crisps, biscuits, fruit, yogurts, stuff like that that's really generic and um, can fit in whether you're doing any kind of weight loss plan or whether you're not at all and you're just eating a regular diet. So this is just a week's menu plan. It's not for a two week one. Obviously prices are going up ridiculous, but I'll get to the price comparisons in a second. And I thought I'll just quickly show you what I'm planning on making this week. I know if you've been following me for a while, I'm not the biggest breakfast fan, but this week being back at Slimming World, 100% on plan, nothing's gonna get in my way. I'm just gonna try and make myself have some breakfast. I'm hoping it'll make me feel better, that I don't then get that snacky craving on an evening, which I'm finding that I'm getting. But I'm hoping that having a breakfast, having something substantial in the morning is gonna combat then and then see me through the rest of the day on an even keel. I'm trying to vary it up as well. I don't wanna get bored. So I thought I'd make some different stuff to what I normally have. I'm gonna be having egg tomato on toast one day. As you can see, that's my healthy extra B. Sausage tomato sandwich. Fruit salad with yogurt, granola, fruit and yogurt, cheese tomato omelette wrap, 
beans, tomato on toast, scrambled eggs, beans, tomato and sausages. So those are all my different breakfasts that I can have. We've got cereal in the cupboards, we've got, um, oh I do lie, we've got crumpets and pancakes in the freezers for the kids if they should want any of that. But I've got plenty of the stuff in that if they want any of this as well, they can do. But they're normally just a grab and go kind of breakfast for the kids especially during the week and then next week it's half term and you've seen that I've bought some pan of chocolates so they tend to just have those grab and go a bit of fruit out of the fruit bowl and they're usually happy with that my husband he tends to miss breakfast coffee suffices him completely which normally it does for me but like I said I'm trying something different this week and then down on lunches the kids have got pack ups you've seen the bits that I bought for them my husband's got pack up as well or he'll get something from work the cafe at work is like ridiculously cheap I don't know how they do it so a lot of the time it's more cheaper for him to eat at work than it is for me actually to send him with something now lunches for me and like I say over the weekend if the kids fancy any of these I've got plenty in that they can have it and same goes with my husband but jacket spud with chilli and salad I'm bulk cooking some five bean chilli so there'll be plenty of that for him uh, jacket potato again but with tuna mayo this time and salad tuna cheese melt with salad that's going to be my healthy extra a and b on that one veg rice with oh sorry veg vegetable and rice and cheese frittata um serve that with salad again healthy extra a tomato and lentil lentil soup i'll have that over a couple of days serve it with some salad if i fancy something extra and then my healthy pot noodle that i do which is just loads of chopped veg vegetable stock chicken stock whichever one I fancy on the day and then I mix it in with some of those rice noodles and it is absolutely amazing can make it really really speedy just throw in loads and loads of veg so yeah all good and all on plan and then dinners we've got carbonara bake my husband's absolute favorite but I'm going to do it as bake this time Cream occasion, salmon bake for me and Alyssa, so that's going to be pasta. Kieran can pick between the two because he loves both of them. And then the little ease will obviously have similar but minus any salt and stuff out of there. I'll take theirs out before adding in all that sort of kind of things. Um, serve it with garlic bread and salad. Again, healthy extra air because we're going to have cheese on top. And then another day, sausage and bean stew, mash green beans, tender stem broccoli and York, Yorkshire puds, five bean chilli, rice, tortilla chips. I'm going to make those out of the Weight Watchers white wraps so that they're part of my healthy extra B. Make up my own salad, uh, sorry, salsa, and I'll have a salad with it as well. So me and Alyssa will be on that. The boys, not a fan of five bean chilli, so I'm just going to do them burger and chips. Healthy extra A and B. And then... Um, I've got the stuff in to make a keema curry one night. Rice, tzatziki. I know tzatziki is not usually a thing that goes with keema curry and rice, but I just wanted like a mint yogurt cucumbery dip to go with it. Cool it down on the side because I'm going to throw in loads of chilli in that as well. Um, an onion and tomato salad for my speed. And then pie and chips, mushy peas, onion rings for the boys. Pepsi Max chicken, fried rice, salt and pepper veg, spring rolls for another evening. Everybody loves that and it's a favourite. Creamy chicken potato top pie. I got that recipe from group on Monday, so I'm going to give that a whirl. And then to serve with it, it's going to be carrots, broccoli, green beans and cauliflower. So healthy extra on top of that. And then the last but not least, we're going to have Hunter's chicken, chips, salad, beans, peas, onion rings. So my husband's not a fan of peas, so he'll have beans instead, but we all love peas, so that's why it all just swaps out. So you can see there that I've wrote healthy extra A and healthy extra B um, against some stuff. Some stuff's missing because I'm not using any, but I just thought I'd write all my healthy extras so that I'm not snacking on them instead as high fi bars. I'm going to be trying to have like fruit and yogurts um, or use my sins if I need to for my healthy, um, yeah, for my sweet treats rather than using my healthy extras. So I've incorporated them into my meals and I've got seven healthy extra Bs spread across and seven healthy extra As. So I've not assigned them to any specific days. So whatever I do decide to have, I'll probably decide my dinner for the day and then providing whatever healthy extras I've got, then I'll go backwards and decide my breakfast and my lunch of what I fancy so that I'm not 
then having two healthy extra B's and three healthy extra A's. I hope that makes sense. So yeah, it's all going to work out, hopefully, but time will tell and the scales on Monday will definitely tell. So this is our menu plan for the week. Like I say, family of six, it's going to feed us all. You've seen that I've got Kobe some bits in, so if he needs something different, he can do. Alana just picks and chooses between all of hers. Husband, fussy bugger, as usual. But then I'm going to go swap it round and show you my price comparisons. But I did the shopping on the 18th of this week and let's have a look so i went to both aldi and i went to tesco you can see here the receipts aldi came to 133.48 ridiculous and then tesco came to overall it was going to be 47 pounds and seven but i'll go through the promotions and the coupons in a sec and then the total was 36.87 so, just swap pages oh, and drop it on the side. I need to be more organised, don't I, with this? <laughs> so, like last time when I did one of these, I'm doing it in the same format and I've just shown you a couple of examples as well. I'm really enjoying doing this. I know that sounds completely sad, but I am genuinely enjoying doing this because it's great where I can see that I'm actually saving money. So, when I'm going into Aldi, and it's coming out at 133.48 and I'm going, oh my goodness, how expensive is that? It's fantastic to see that when I run it through the Asda app, that actually it would have cost me so much more to have done it at Asda. And again, if you've been following me for a while, you'll know that I normally absolutely love Asda and it was always my go-to, love the products, always th thought that the price was fair. Um, not expensive. I really did think, delusional now, that it was very much on a par with Aldi, but clearly it isn't because I'm proving it every week at the moment. So let's go through it. Obviously it's quite self-explanatory there. You can see that my Aldi shop this week was £133.48. Like I say, family of six, it is ridiculous, but it's just the way that the world is at the moment. And I'm trying to think of ways that I can save money even more, which how how much can you save until something's got to give? I really don't know. Unless we just eat beans on toast all week, which nobody wants to do that, do they? I'm trying to lose weight. It's making it impossible for that because fruit and veg is just extortionate. Fresh um, food is just extortionate. But everything is, to be fair. But I'm going to try and think of a menu plan that I can bulk cook a lot of stuff so that it'll see over a few weeks but then it's trying to think of a menu that fits for the whole of the family because again husband fussy bugger children we've got toddlers we've got babies it's just it's quite hard to try and think of something that works for everyone when I have so many different palettes in our house so yeah keep a watch of that because I do plan on doing that because I do know that it'll help other people and it's hard to think of it yourself, so if someone can do the donkey work for you, then happy days, and I'm more than willing to do that if I can think of a solution, so I'll just I'll keep you posted. But anyway, digressing, I'll get back to this. So Aldi Shop, 133.48 this week. I ran it through my Asda app. If I'd have gone there, it would have cost me £155.24 for the exact same products. I went either with what Asda had available or I went with the cheaper option that I would have naturally gone to if I was in the store. So it's not a case of that I've chose Heinz baked beans. I haven't. I went for the Asda's Just Essentials range there. Um, everyday Essentials, Just Essentials, whatever they call it now. I'm getting confused between Asda and Aldi. But they're very, very, very basic range. I went for stuff like that. Same with the chopped tomatoes. Everything, I just went for what? I would have got if I was actually physically in the store so I wasn't trying to do Asda in by going for all their premium brands I wasn't I stuck to the very basics so same stuff I managed to find everything that I got in Aldi on Asda everything was there there wasn't any swap outs um, this week and it would have cost me £155.24 the difference as you can see there I saved a whopping £21.76 just by going to Aldi, by getting my fat bum off the couch and physically going instead of doing click and collect or a delivery, which body magic, happy days, 
and I've saved myself over 20 quid. So that's brilliant when it's on a week shopping. Because again, like I've said in the past, if you times that by four for a month, then you know, you're saving over 80 pound. 80 pound in a four week span is something I am definitely on board with. So yeah, difference, 2176. And I just thought I'd show you because obviously I was going through the Asda app, looking at all the prices of everything. My eyes were popping out of my head a lot of the time because I couldn't believe the price increases. But just two really, really simple ones, something that is quite a staple on our shopping list. I always get soft cheese because it goes into a lot of um, meals that I make. And I'm always getting pasta because we're a big pasta lover family here. And again, it's something that used to be cheap that you could easily bulk cook for the whole of the family. But yeah, price increases, example from last price comparison that I did, which was just two weeks ago. The Just Essentials range, the soft cheese has gone from 80p for that 300 gram tub to a whopping £1.25. That's 45p more expensive in two weeks. 45p. And it wasn't just this, as you can see there, the Fusilli Pasta. This was Asda's own brand because they didn't have any of the Just Essentials range. But to get the Fusilli Pasta, it's gone from 80p two weeks ago to 95p. So that's another 15p there. So that's like what? That's 60p in just them two products alone that you're going to pay extra, which is disgusting, quite frankly. That's the only word for it. It is disgusting. It completely and utterly is how they think that that is acceptable and people rely on these stuff and they're going to buy them. Obviously, you need them. You need to feed your family and you've got no choice but to pay it. So the only thing that if you can do and you're able to is just shop elsewhere, just refuse to pay the prices and shop elsewhere. And then hopefully in time, stuff will start coming back down. But I know not everybody's got that option which makes the whole situation even more terrible completely. So yeah, I just wanted to show them two examples. There were plenty, plenty of others as well, but them two just completely sideswiped me. So I just wanted to show you the difference. Um, and then obviously at Aldi, their um, cheese, let me just have a quick look. So their soft cheese, I want to say it was about 85p so again not 80p like it used to be but can i see it can i see it i don't want to hold this up too long trying to have a look the thing is obviously ridiculously long i should have thought about it beforehand and pulled it off i've scribbled through everything as you can see there as i've been marking it off so i'm just trying to find it no i can't find it but i know it was nowhere near one pound 25 and again their pasta was something like one pound 15 one pound 25 but it was for a full kilogram bag so again saving money instead of just 500 grams but let's move on to tesco because i could just obviously i'm very passionate about the ridiculous amounts of money so i'm going to move on Otherwise, I'm just going to go around in circles. But yeah, Tesco. I went to Tesco. You know, it's if you watch me again, that it's across the road from our Aldi. So it's super easy and convenient to go to if there's any bits that I need from there. And I went to Tesco and um, I did my few bits of shopping. Now, when I say a few bits of shopping, you can see there. Again, I've crossed it all off. You can see what I got there. Um, so not a lot of items at all. In fact, it doesn't tell me how many items. Oh, no. No, it doesn't tell me how many items I got. They used to tell you how many things you got. But anyway, so Tesco, without my club card, it would have cost me £47.07 £7 to get the few bits that I got, which, again, extortionate completely because I know it wouldn't have cost that if Aldi would have sold, sold them. It wouldn't have cost the same amount. However, with my club card, I managed to save £8.20 and I also had a club card voucher that was worth £2. So I obviously used that as well at the till, which you would do because you gain points with using your club card and so then you do get money off. So in total, on the 18th, I paid £36.87 instead at um, Tesco because I had that voucher and I had my club card on me. Um, 
If you haven't got a club card and you do go to Tesco, I really do recommend you get one. You can download the app onto your phone so you don't have to actually carry a physical card around with you. Likewise, if you do like doing that, then you can get keyring versions that they send you through the post and you can get the physical card that looks like your bank card as well if that floats your boat and you'd prefer to use one of those instead. So there is three different options there that you can still get a club card whichever method you'd prefer to use so yeah paid 36.87 if i'd have gone to asda and i can't believe this because the last time i did a price comparison asda was ever so slightly cheaper sorry waving the camera around again getting a bit excited um but this week definitely not even without the club card i would have paid more money at asda it was 49 pounds 80 and this was for the exact same products. They had every single thing. You know, I got apple tizer, I got Heinz um, baby food, I got um, cow and gate milk, and I got leeks, iceberg lettuce, Pepsi, Pepsi Max. So they had the exact same things in, but it would have cost me a couple of quid more to have got them from Tesco without the club card. However, minus off the voucher and the club card saving points it meant that i actually saved 12 pounds 93 instead for again the exact same products at tesco 12 pounds 93 i saved by going to tesco for those few bits instead of going to asda and normally in the past i would have just done it all at one shop i wouldn't have gone to two different shops i'd have gone to one shop put it all on the same thing and totally i would have paid an extra 34 pounds 69 for just going to asda alone but by going to aldi and tesco i've actually saved that 34 pounds 69 instead so again times that over a month and you're looking at what three six nine twelve uh thirteen yeah so you're looking at like 140 quid almost it's again it's a no 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 brainer at all which again you know it's cost me 133.48 so that's a full week shop for me just by going to those two shops instead of going to asda but like i said the world is a crazy place i'm waffling on now i know i am i'm going around in circles now but again it's just because i'm just so disgusted with it all um but I'm going to keep doing this every time I go shopping. I'm going to continue going to Aldi until something drastic happens and I'll, um, Asda like have a massive U-turn. I'm going to keep going to Aldi and I'm going to keep price comparison it just to make sure that I am still getting the best price possible for our family because it's better that the extra pennies are in our pocket than their pocket for sure because we need them for like gas and electric and fuel you know those are the things that don't even get me started on so yeah anyway i thought i'd just share this with you again i hope you enjoy this side of things and it just helps a little bit you know maybe solidifies the shopping the way that you're shopping as well and trying to configure everything in your brain because I know that's what I'm doing on a daily basis so I do hope it helps I hope it's been useful and I hope you've enjoyed it as well so yeah that's it I'm gonna love you and leave you because I think I've ranted quite enough now next vlog will be a way update and then I'm not sure going forward from that but I'm just going to keep trying dropping them in as and when I can do what I eat in a days and then hopefully Monday some weight off the scales and I'll let you guys know one way or the other that that goes my first week back at Slimming World so fingers crossed anyway I'm gonna go <laughs> and I will speak to you later take care thank you so much for watching if you haven't already please subscribe I think I'm four people off of a thousand subscribers and I cannot wait to get there I will be so excited but yeah I'm gonna say goodbye